tutorial will show how to modify our standard ingest feed template and then import it into Kylo. We're going to assume you already understand the concept of templates in Kylo and reusable flows, so let's just jump in. First off, it's important that we always create templates in the root process group of NiFi. As of NiFi 1.0, controller services get scoped to the process group they're created in, and we want to create templates in the root process group so all of our feeds share the same instance of controller services. Um, controller services uh, control things like connection pools, and so we want to make sure that we've created and make it available to all the feed instances. Um, if, you, if you do create it in a process group, uh, say up here and you and you you know the old way we used to uh, create a process group and then create our template inside that and the problem is is that means you're gonna make copies of the controller service every time that feed gets created um, so again it's important we start from the root now if you've already installed Kylo um, you should have uh, templates and you'll see the uh, camel case data ingest and that is the uh, feed template and the lowercase standard ingest is the reusable flow template. Um, so we're going to modify the, the feed instance here. And we're going to do that. We're going to come to uh, just grab some free real estate. Um, and then we're going to drop the existing template in here. Select data ingest. Click add. And notice that all the processors here are flagged as red. And in fact, what happened is that, you know, anytime you drop a template into the canvas, NiFi will create copies of the controller services that were listed there. And what I do is, we, one, we need to clean these out. So we don't want these. Um, they're, they're copies of existing ones. And we're just going to delete them. So wherever it says invalid or disabled, most likely. And just be careful not to delete your good ones. All right, and now we're just going to correct, we're just going to fix all these. They have broken references. So we're going to wire them up to the controller services that we uh, know are good. And there's one more. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to just add a new processor for uh, fetching data from Kafka. Go here. And let's see what the valid setting is. Localhost 2181. Now I'm going to hard code this. But the better way of handling this is to use Kylo ThinkBig Services um, application properties file, which is in the comp folder. And you can actually set envir environment specific variables in the properties file. And so Kylo will automatically substitute those environment specific settings um, uh, each time that the feed gets created. Um, so we're just hard coding this for now. Um, but you should uh, look at tutorials of how to actually do that. All right, and then we're just going to connect this into our flow. And let's see, we'll add a default value just to make this valid. We don't actually have to do that. All right, now we don't need to start everything. I'm going to hold down the Shift key, and I'm going to drag the mouse and select just these processors. We don't want to select everything in the flow because there's other uh, process groups in here. And then we're going to uh, delete the old template. So data ingest here, we're going to delete this one. And then we're going to recreate it from this template. Give it the same name. By giving it the same name, then, uh, and now I'm just going to go ahead and delete because we don't need this anymore. We created a template from it. When we go to Kylo, we can go to the existing data ingest, click in there, click continue, and notice that get Kafka is now one of the options. And so what we'll do is we'll go there and we're going to expose the topic name so that the user can set that as a text field. And then we'll continue through and you notice all the, all the old settings were already saved. Um, 
there's a couple new features. One is you can change the order of the template. Uh, so the first three are the uh, sort of preferred ones that show up when you click, first click the plus for feed. Let's go ahead and move data ingest to the top. Um, but you can reorder all your uh, templates um, uh, at this time when you register it. And then we also, for lineage purposes, we allow you to specify which data sources get tracked for lineage. Of course, if someone selects Kafka, uh, we want to be able to uh, record that in the lineage. So we're going to check that and then click register. OK, so now if we go in and we create a new feed, click standard ingest or data ingest. And let's see, we should have uh, an option for Kafka and the ability to set the queue. So that's how you update our standard data ingest template. And uh, in another tutorial, I'll show you how to modify the reusable flow portion.